Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. I hope you're having a happy Labor Day. And today we're going to be checking out the Wicked Game Engine. Now I've actually looked at this one somewhat recently. I'll have that link later on. So we're not going to go into a ton of depth about uh, what Wicked Engine is all about. But you can see it right here in action in front of you. This is the... Uh, spawns a level kind of a universal standard uh, and it's kind of been showing you how things work we got the light probes in the environment uh, real-time ray tracing is available shadow maps you've got particle systems going on here this is a very capable engine for sure i'm gonna go ahead and select something over here you're also gonna see we have a wide variety of components that we can attach to individual objects within the scene and your reason why we are talking about wicked engine today uh, is because it was recently added to steam so if you want to go ahead and check this one out i actually launched this from steam the cool thing is they actually did an update uh, today. So since it was put on here, uh, it has been updated already. So it's only been up for a couple of days and we've already seen one update to it. Now, one of the things to be aware of, this actually isn't the full version of Wicked Engine. It kind of is, uh, but... It's not what you would use if you were going to build your own game using this. Instead, it is the uh, Lua component aspect. So I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, part of that. By the way, you can open up any number of different scenes that are available with it. So just go here to open, uh, and then you can navigate uh, here in the content inside of Steam. You're going to find uh, models and scripts. So go into models here. You're going to find a number of different examples here. And I'm just going to show you a very simple example. The one we were just looking at, by the way, was Sponza. Uh, but I'm going to come in here, and I'm just going to show you the script component example. It's uh, a very simple scene. By the way, this has full 3D importers and so on. So it's going to load up, and there you see not much going on here, but I can at least illustrate how things work. So you see here, this guy has a Lua script attached. We can click this guy. We can open that one up. We're going to go ahead here. We'll just open that up in code, and you can get an idea of exactly how these scripts work. It's pretty straightforward. Again, Lua programming language is being used in this case. There is what it looks like, and that is what you get on the Steam version. If you want to have the full fat version with uh, C++ support and all of that stuff, you're going to have to still grab it from GitHub. Uh, I did a video on it in the past. We'll get back to that in just a second. But the big news here is that Wicked Engine is now available up on Steam. Uh, so this is a good move, in my humble opinion, because it gives you more exposure to it. There's a lot to this engine. We've got, again, um, a number number of different, uh, oh, sorry about the eye burning, uh, a number of different themes going on here. If you wish to live in the matrix, you have that option here. Uh, you have a ton of tooling in this guy. We'll go ahead and check that out right now. So again, the big news here is this guy is now available up on Steam, so you can download it here. Now, do keep in mind, once again, this is the version that you would use to create using Lua scripts. It's a nice way to kind of get entry-level uh, ideas of what this engine is all about. Uh, it is entirely written in C++. It has GLTF importing support. You can script everything with Lua. That is what this example will showcase so you get the full editing environment plus the Lua scripting aspects of it so it is up on Steam and again there has already been an update the cool thing is once again this is completely free I do like the move of free game mentions putting themselves up on Steam because it does give them more exposure if you want to learn more about Wicked Engine itself well first off you could go to their development blog it is available at wickedengine.net um Kind of gives you the development history of this engine, kind of some feedback on some new features as they're adding. Uh, it can, gives you a nice developer insight into it. It's not updated that much, but the articles generally are pretty good. But the heart of it, where you're going to probably want to go, is over to the uh, Wicked Engine GitHub page. Uh, here you will find it is an MIT licensed open source engine. Interestingly enough, the Steam releases are actually shown here as well, so you can get the exact same version uh, from the GitHub. But if you want to go ahead and use this guy with C++, uh, so if you want to use this, for example, as the basis of your own game engine, you're going to want to use the full C++ version. You can see what using it with C++ looks like. It's a very straightforward engine, uh, but also, again, you can use it entirely in Lua, and that is what the Steam version has. It has the ability to attach those Lua scripts to your game objects. It, it's going to make it kind of an easier entry point into the engine. So if you want to get using it as as like an end user and then maybe want to work on it later you could grab the github version later on uh, so that is uh, kind of an example right here there's decent documentation all available here so there is the script uh, API available so it walks you through all the various different things you need to know so if you're working with sound or scenes or models or uh, bounding boxes or raycasts or that kind of stuff it's all available here in the documentation right there uh, so this is what you would ultimately use with your Lua scripting Lua itself is a fairly straightforward scripting language it's the kind of thing you can learn in a weekend generally if you have some previous uh, experience with programming now as I mentioned earlier on I did recently cover Wicked Engine uh, it got a pretty big update 
uh, just a little while ago with uh, updated graphics, DX12, Vulkan rendering, and so on. I kind of go into some of the graphical capabilities of it. So if you want to learn more about Wicked Engine itself, do be sure to check out this video. I show you how this engine works. And once again, I do think it is absolutely an amazing engine. But if you want to go ahead and check it out without the full, you know, building it from source and cloning it from GitHub, if that stuff is a little bit beyond you, or you just want to run the engine and see what it looks like, uh, the Steam approach is going to be so much easier. You can get an idea what the performance is like on your machine. Machine. Also, interestingly enough, the Wicked Engine is used in the um, Game Guru Max. Uh, the new version of Game Guru actually uses a Wicked Engine behind the scenes. And interestingly enough, just a couple of weeks ago, um, less than two weeks ago now, uh, they they didn't open source, but they made the source code available for Game Guru Max. Now, again, Game Guru Max is built on top of Wicked Engine. So, if you want to see a reference for how to actually work with the Wicked Engine on a commercial shipping project, uh, you do have that capability now with the Game Guru Max source code being released. Now, again, it is not open source, so if you are, you know, thinking about grabbing some source code from that repository, do not. That is not the idea behind it. You could get yourself into some issues there. Do not go down that road. Uh, but if you want to see how, uh, you know, someone out there used the Wicked Engine for a rather large and involved project, uh, that is exactly what you do with the Game Guru Max. Again, just keep in mind, it is not actually an open source project. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is Wicked Engine now available up on Steam. And again, impressively enough, uh, it was released on September 1st, and we already have a uh, an update for it. It was a pretty mild update, so it has faster physics, gravity, and Lua bindings. Uh, but it's cool to see uh, just four days so three days after it was first released uh there was an update for it now should you use wicked engine in your commercial project that's hard to say actually i would generally say no for a lot of these you know small individual developer experimental style uh engines but the fact is that this guy has been used in shipping projects um and the developer behind this is very good very dedicated so yeah definitely go ahead and check it out by the way if you are interested and you do check out wicked engine uh at the top of wickedengine.net you're going to see there are um there's the patron page if you want to go ahead and support them. They also have a Discord server. So if you run into some problems or you have some questions or whatever, uh, that is a place you can go. So again, we are now up on Steam. I would honestly say if you have a project like Wicked Engine, an open source project that is completely free, but you've got a binary version that people can go ahead and run, I would highly recommend throwing it up on Steam. It does give you that additional bit of exposure. And for a lot of these projects, exposure is exactly what they need. So uh, Wicked Engine, now up on Steam. Uh, Again, I checked this one out a number of months back and I said it was an awesome engine. Haven't changed my opinion on that one as far as like open source projects, C++ game engine projects go out there. Uh, this is definitely one of the better ones to build your own kind of engine on top of. Uh, it is very robust. It's well written. Uh, there's some performance issues when you get into some of the experimental graphics stuff. Uh, so you're going to have to play around with the various different settings to see if the performance works good on your machine. Uh, that combination is there. The one I think the downside here is that there's not very many any platforms support it. So if you're looking to expand beyond the desktop space, it's probably not ideal for you. But otherwise, definitely worth checking out. Again, free open source MIT licensed. And if you just want to go ahead and check it out, see what the performance is like. Well, now there is this uh, Steam version. Highly recommend checking it out. That's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.